Hi. You know, we just came off the Super Bowl, and I'm not ready for the consistent amount of horror videos I'm getting on my TikTok for you page. I'm trying to scroll and see memes. Like, I think the three most recent videos were a daddy's home usher meme about some girl who was really pissed off that her favorite anime character didn't show up at the fucking Super Bowl halftime. And a hope course slideshow. And then the third thing is going to be these, I'm going to call them MLP infection Ooh. stories. My little pony infection stories. Now you might ask, what the fuck? Do I look like a brony? I looked at myself in the camera and I kind of think I do. But trust, trust. I go outside. I go outside. Leave me alone. Low key. These are some of the most well written. Gary, like I'm going to have to pop an 18 plus warning here. It's creepy, but like I like it. It goes hard. I can't even lie. Now you might be asking, who the hell are you? Oh, I don't know. Just look like i'm gonna show you you're gonna look all right so the first account we're gonna be looking at here is called nyanko zero now if i pronounce that wrong i don't give a fuck <laughs> this one is highly story driven this is the first one i found and i don't think it's the first one like over but it falls into the analog horror category remember that big thing from like a year or two ago analog horror analog horror you saw markiplier uh I don't know, that's the video I remember, but I got super interested in this stuff. And infection stories intrigue me. So now I'm gonna take y'all through this. All right, I'm gonna do a quick read, just so, just so y'all get like an idea. <clears throat> Granny, are you sure everything will be okay with Applejack? <laughs> yes, I hope. Okay, and then, like, they always come up with, like, these really in-depth info screens. My cat is taking a shit. <laughs> so you get, like, a little overview about rarity. You get their stats. I like that. You get a status, like, they're overall healthy. And they're and this one has motive. I like that. To survive and find missing friends. So you get that input. You see that they're missing. And these images, they're drawn. Like, they're obviously, they're taking a character, but they're drawing over it. They're making them nice and custom in that ugly-ass cat, bro. You have a little quote from them. I'm Sweetie Belle. Better stay home with your friends. You get uh, a little info on them. Oh, and then something like this. I don't remember this. Most often she's in a boutique so as to not meet face to face with blank. Now, I'm not a big My Little Pony fan, even though I fucking look like it, according to Reddit. But I'm sure that whoever's crossed out is either infected or he, she's going to kill him or something. So you get some info that she was searching for people in Ponyville, but she scratched herself. And then she says, I need some more camouflage. And then the necklace that Fluttershy gave her a few days before she went missing. Okay. And there's a trend with these. Fluttershy or Pinkie Pie always fucking dies first, which I find hilarious. Ah, there you go. You get an attention, a status missing. All right. So Fluttershy is missing. This pony has disappeared. The name is Flattershy. Huh? All right. It probably, probably an error on their parts, whatever. Fluttershy, Pegasus, a yellow filly with a pink mane, a cutie mark in the form of three pink butterflies, turquoise eyes. She was last seen in the evening near Evergreen Forest, shouting someone's name, looking excited and scared. So it's leading into an infection. No shit. Oh, you get a brief review on who Rainbow Dash is. Blah, 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 blah. We've seen it. Then, uh, I mean, I didn't mention this before, but there's an inventory, which is pretty cool. See a torn up thing on her friends. Little bandage. A walkie. Bro, but look how kitted Rainbow Dash is. So she's looking for Fluttershy, because as you can see, Fluttershy, where are you? I really want this to end. And then whoever the fuck Scootaloo is. <laughs> So you get a bandaged wound from one of the infected. So she's been attacked by one of the infected. She got bruises. There's a scar from nose to cheek under this mask. Oh, okay. So if you read here, it says, After the spread of the virus, she became more nervous and aggressive and lashes out at Scootaloo and then blames herself for it. So it's world building. You see, we are three slides in and the world building is insane. I like this stuff, but trigger warning, I don't, I don't know, I'm just gonna throw it up there. Creepy warning, yeah, creepy warning. Then you have stuff like this, and it's so analog horror, it's so uncanny valley, oh my god. So then you get Applejack, an earth pony, worked on a farm with her family of grandmother, older brother, and younger sister, who we saw on the first slide. Oh, and then you get the status, infected, motive, infect ponies, and eat. And then you get aggression, sanity, all the same stuff, but stage four infection. So it teaches you that there are stages. So you have an infection bite. Applejack was infected when she and Applebloom went into the forest to find Winona. But seeing the pony in a strange and painful state, they decided to approach her and ask if everything was okay. After which Applejack bit the pony. Wait, they returned home and treated her wound, but it was too late. Pretty sure this is supposed to mean the random pony bit her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that slide because this is peak. <laughs> 
That's the end of the first one, but you get this like uncanny picture. All right, so now we have um, Big Batty, uh, Goth Girlfriend, Princess Equestria, Don't Come At Me. You need to leave! Uh, and Twilight, who usually is trying to find a cure because she's super fucking nerdy or whatever. So you have a question you're going, Luna is feeling worse every day. She will soon reach stage three. So they have knowledge about this. Remember, this is only the second thing this person's posted. But Celestia, maybe there's still a chance to save her. I will look harder for information about the infection. Okay, so yes, yes. This is one of the ones where she is trying to find the cure. It's either she's trying to find the cure or she's the first infected. And then Equestria goes on to say Twilight. She has no chance. We noticed her bite too late. So they are working on this pony, I guess. I was going to say person, but pony. And it's not going well. And then you get a nice brief summary. Uh, blah, 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 blah. She's a fucking nerd. Yeah. I mean, you get, damn, torn off piece of ear, a burnt horn. And then you get Pinkie Pie, who is usually cracked out of her mind in these. And then you get, like, little tidbits about, like, side characters so they can do a little world building. Like, after Pinkie learned about Fluttershy's disappearance and the spread of the virus, she closed herself off and stopped going out, only occasionally meeting with friends. She got a little frog, dude. I should call that a frog. Oh, my God. Princess Equestria usually tends to become the bad guy. I don't remember if it does in this one. This is one of the first ones I checked out. I honestly don't remember. I'm kind of intrigued. This is the one you usually want to pay attention to because she usually comes back up as a bad person or something. But it, And then it's probably going to pull up the infected person. So you get Princess Luna. Actually, this one isn't that bad. But you get status infected. So she's a stage two infection. You get more. You get to learn about stage two instead of the stage four that Applejack was. So the veins on the princess's neck and limbs were swollen. She began to chew her cheeks with wild hunger. Her eyes became so bloodshot her body began to deform. Oh my god. Blood from the mouth from chewed cheeks. The horn bent from the actions of mutation. Torn off piece of ear. And then like she, she still has like semi-consciousness. Like it, it usually plays into like the uncanny they're 5% human but act on instinct like animals. So it's it's like she she'll like try and persuade like a lot of these try and persuade so that's the last slide of this one i'm gonna do one more i don't want to give all of this away it's just super intriguing to see this again all right so now we have rarity sleeping in her bed bougie ass house by the way like i would love to have this house uh we get a little knock knock at the door a little huh dumb ass someone's knocking at your door go answer it oh rainbow dash showed up rainbow dash darling i'm so glad to see you hi i'm glad to see you too i'm on business did you sew the uniform? Ooh, we're getting some uniforms. Aha! Oh, yes. I sewed it. Come on. I'll show you them. This is one of the best things I've sewn lately. Is you LGB because you're gun pain? Here are a few examples of the four. Isn't it amazing? Oh, this looks kind of cool. I fuck with that. Rarity, are you serious? This is not a fashion show. Ah, oh, darling, even in such a situation, you need to be irresistible. Oh, bro, I keep changing up the voice. <laughs> Okay, thanks for your help. See you later. See you soon, dear. Come back often. At least Rarity's happy. Rainbow Dash still murdering. Strange Russell. She gonna die. She's, she's gonna die. Bro. Grout. No. Get out of there, bro. How? Wait, she's in her house alone. All right. I, I don't want to click this. Opal. Who's Opal? I don't, I don't know this stuff. Ooh. Ooh. That's her cat. That's her cat. Oh. This right here is one of the scariest fucking things I've ever seen. This is like smile dog. I I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because now now I'm sure people are gonna be like like people like me are gonna want to see this want to look at it So I'll leave this and all the other accounts in the description of this video on to the next one But before we get on to the second story I just wanted to let you guys know that since this is my first video and I'm a youtuber I'm gonna make you go back through this video and look there is one secret Pokemon hidden somewhere in this video See if you can find it if you can comment the name of the Pokemon below and I'll heart your comment Let's get on with this Now, this one is my personal favorite, and something you might see here is that it's not MLP. But that's the beauty of this trend. So, what's really cool is that it's branched out to other series, and this is the only one that I've seen so far, but it's my favorite, like, out of all of them. And it's the lowest quality on drawing. This person does get better. I'm so fucking gay for these stories. Cut the cameras. But look how many this person's made. So we got the Bikini Bottom Outbreak. Boy, this Krabby Patty sure looks good. Yeah, we all know where this is going. So you get Fred Wretched. Excited for his morning Krabby Patty. He's got a Krabby Patty and a Kelp Shake. Then we have SpongeBob. He's healthy, but he's realized something's wrong. Setting up a little story here. Squidward, healthy. He's glad that today has been quiet because he's a little shit. Where'd everyone go? Squidward, don't you think it's been unusually quiet? Huh? 
Actually, now that you mention it, things have felt slightly less miserable. You have no life, Mr. Tentacles. Hi. Oh, gore warning. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so this is how it starts. You get Mr. Krabs, who has some sort of infection and stuff crawling out of him. The art's not there, but it's it gives. I, I like it. Like, this is this is some kid's school project or something, but it's so fucking cool. Then we have episode two. Are you even a little worried, Squidward? Mr. Krabs hasn't even come out of his office today. I wonder why. Oh, that old cheapskate isn't here to yell at us about working harder and saving money right now? What a shame. Calm down, SpongeBob. It's just a slow morning. Oh, I forgot the tip, I. I wonder what that pause is for. Oh, somebody fart and say, there's buttered popcorn? Oh, his eyeball popped out. My eye! Squidward noticed. Damn. Oh, and then you get a little thing. Fred Wretched. Status. Stage one infection. The last thing that Fred could choke out before his body became nothing more than a host for the worms. Now you know that they're worms. Was the Krabby Patty. So now you have an idea that it was the Krabby Patty and it was the worms. The world building. Eugene Harold Krabs. Stage two infection. Infection growth rate high. You get a hunger level, a danger level, and then Mr. Krabs was the first to be infected and had quickly been reduced to a breathing corpse that had only spoke gibberish. His worms grew hungry quickly, thankfully. Plankton had come by earlier to replenish his hunger. So Plankton is gone. <laughs> And then we have Spongebob and Squidward finding Mr. Krabs. Episode 3, Sheldon J. Plankton. Status, dead. So he's dead, just started. Mr. Krabs ate him alive. Plankton was so blinded by stardom from the thought of having the secret Krabby Patty formula that he couldn't realize his own invention would have inevitably become his death. We learned that Plankton made these. A fucking course. Karen, static, immune. Karen is a computer, so this doesn't affect her physical health much at all. Thank you for letting us in here, Karen. Right, SpongeBob? Mr. Krabs is really, oh, okay, so SpongeBob, you see, a little freaked out by that. It's no problem. Clearly something dangerous is going on outside. Could I get you boys anything? Some chum, maybe? <laughs> the look. We're doing fine, actually. No, thank you, please. Breaking news! The Krabby Patty outbreak. A deadly virus is spreading all over Bikini Bottom. Don't interact with anyone who is diseased. And make sure to stay indoors at all times. I gotta find Gary and Patrick. SpongeBob, where are you going? The news just told us to stay inside. They're my best pals, and I'm gonna find them no matter what. You can't. Fine. I'll come down with you, so you won't die immediately. Bye, Karen. Stay safe. Wait. When you were at the Krusty Krab, did you see Sheldon? Nope, sorry. See ya. Oh, Plankton, you little idiot. My little idiot. All right, so we got some world building. Now we know that motherfucker dead. He created it. He dead. SpongeBob and Squibber are gonna go looking for people. And then we get a little please come home to me. Oh, and then we get a little flashback. I forgot about this. Krabs, what what happened to you? Oh, uh, you made this. Damn. P -p 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 All right, this is gonna be my last one. I like SpongeBob. The Krabby Patty virus number four. We have Eugene Krabs on a stage three infection. His infection growth rate is still high. His hunger level is only 10% and his danger level is only 10% because he's he's done. Nuh uh. Then you've got some more infected that this person's drawn. They got the worms coming out and stuff. They're attacking and they got the eyeball. That's a thing, by the way. The eyeballs pop out. And then Mrs. Puff, get away. It's Fred on one leg and one arm. How you how you gonna get right? Kill him, Mrs. Puff. Mrs. Puff, status infected. Health rapidly going down. What's wrong with that man? Mrs. Puff, being aware of the virus, was on her way to work and had gotten bitten by Fred while on violent outrage. How do you get bitten by a motherfucker who has one arm Look at this dude. and one leg? He could crawl. He bit you on the arm, which means he had to climb. Mrs. Puff, you failed. You folded. You get Pearl Krabs. Pearl has been looking for her dad. Got a knife and some nail lip gloss. And then you get a little flashback again. I like these. Last day before the Krabby Patty virus. Hey, Mr. Krabs. What, SpongeBob, me boy? This new batch of Krabby Patty smells funny. Aye, it's just made by another brand, Sponge Boy. For cheap, too. I saved a dime getting them. This cheap motherfucker! Grill him up. I die, Mr. Krabs! That is the end of that episode. For some reason, I was so lazy that I didn't want to say it. And if you made it to the end of the video, I just wanted to say thank you. You have a normal attention span. First video, if it's shit, comment something. I will delete your fucking comments. I don't give a fuck. Subscribe.